being middle class is a super place to be. Not only have you upgraded yourself from the reduced aisle in the supermarket, but you're also guilty of a few cheeky skiing trips. When you think of middle class, you may assume the vast majority of people in the country. But according to the Pew Research Center, the middle class is getting smaller. Hello Brewers! Welcome to another exciting video. So you're probably wondering if people can tell you're middle class. We've broken down 14 signs that you are in the middle class. Continue watching to learn more about things that reveal your social class. Here are 12 signs you are in the middle class. Number 12. Owning at-home exercise equipment. Many people who have a middle-class lifestyle own exercise equipment at home. That may include an exercise bike, a treadmill, weights, a yoga mat, or any number of things that can be used to get the heart pumping and the body moving without leaving the front door. People who are middle class recognize the importance of exercise and a healthy lifestyle, and they are willing to invest in those things. The problem is that the at-home exercise equipment often goes unused, or is mainly not being used for exercise and becoming a rack for laying clothes on. Number 11. Your house or garage is cluttered with nonsense. At one point in your life, money started coming in, not a lot but more than before. Your expenses were fairly low, so you began buying things that you thought were cool. They now pile up in your garage, or certain rooms in your house without being used. You are too attached to them to throw them away or donate them because they meant a lot to you when you purchased them. You are also most likely to have several clothes from a few years ago, which no longer fit but you never get rid of them. This type of behavior can be seen throughout your life and your household. This depends mainly on your age and the country where you leave but the habits are fairly similar. Number 10. Your price of health care is a huge concern. People who live below the poverty line in their state often qualify for Medicaid, making their health care completely free. Some people can go their entire lives with free health care, as long as they remain poor. But as soon as you make enough to be in the middle class, you are going to be straddled with huge monthly premiums. Let's not forget about copays, deductibles, and the cost of medication. Insurance alone can be several hundred dollars a month, especially for self-employed individuals who do not have an employer to cover the costs. Some choose to go without insurance because they figure that paying their medical bills on their own is cheaper than the monthly premiums. Number 9. You're likely more formally educated than the rest. This might come as a surprise but the middle class statistically is more formally educated than the rich. A good portion of the middle class is made out of what would be considered intellectuals. These people have decent paying jobs because they specialize in a particular field. They have their degree, they know how to follow rules, and get paid for their time. They take time in their studies and believe that traditional education is still your best option for success in life. They are a students, obedient, follow the rules, work hard and make excellent employees usually for B and C students who are more open to taking risks. Number 8. You have a midlife crisis. We have all heard of someone having a midlife crisis. Once a person reaches their 40s or early 50s, they begin to get upset about the fact that their life is halfway over, and they will never be young again. They might splurge on a sports car, get a divorce, or try to recapture their lost youth. Some realize that they have spent their lives doing things that others wanted them to do and never risk themselves. Believe it or not, the United States is pretty much the only place where people experience having a midlife crisis. Out of the people who experience this, most of them are in the middle class. Number 7. You want your children to follow a safe career path. You are big on security and low risk when it comes to your children's career paths. Because you have educated yourself and you've been doing well, you want the same for your children. You prepared an education policy for your children earlier on and you let them know how important it is to get a college education. It's very rare for middle-class families to be supportive of creative or entrepreneurial endeavors. This is because they found the recipe to what they consider a fulfilling life. You'd rather see your child in a boring but safe job that pays less, than risk going for a fulfilling career. Number 6. Your renters. In the middle class, there is a good mix of people who both rent and own property. However, if you hear that someone is renting an apartment, you automatically know that they must be in the middle or lower middle class. The Pew Research Center published a document called, American Families Face a Growing Rent Burden. According to their research, the demand for rental space has grown significantly since the 2008 recession. 
As of 2016, 43 million Americans were renting an apartment or house. Unfortunately, rental prices seem to be going up, which means that rents are having an increasingly difficult time keeping up with the cost. Number 5. You pretend to be rich. The middle class always has a fascination with the rich, mostly because they aspire to move up in rankings. Two in every three people in the middle class believe if they work hard enough, they can make the leap. From this perspective, the middle class is a lot more optimistic than the other groups. The poor are more pessimist in nature, while the rich are more realist. The middle class is not afraid to pamper themselves, despite not really being able to afford it. Luxury brands have understood this desire very well in recent years and we've seen a shift in strategy on their behalf. The rich are no longer the main target when it comes to luxury goods, it's the middle class who wants to appear rich. This is why brands like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and more are offering more accessible products. Number 4. They get the newest Apple product. We've all heard of the Apple fans who stand in line the day a new product comes out. There are even tech YouTube channels that love to go over the stats of each new product. Obviously, people living in the lower class can't afford to buy a new MacBook, and their iPhone is probably a few years old. So when you see someone constantly upgrading their tech, you know that they must be middle class. They don't necessarily need the new tech, even though the latest product may have a couple of extra bells and whistles that their current product does not have. They are looking for the notoriety of being able to say that they have the latest Apple product. Number 3. You travel but only to inexpensive destinations. Traveling is such an interesting thing to observe across different socioeconomic classes. As a member of the middle class, you do travel, but you do it a lot more strategically. It usually involves a lot of research, comparing flights, and using discounts in order to get the most out of every CENT. You are always flying economy and you think the first class is a rip-off but you wouldn't mind trying it for once, just to see what it's like. You never go to five-star hotels or resorts for the same reason, and when you do finally check into a three- or four-star hotel, some facilities are off-limits. The bigger the family, the more likely you are to travel by car, and eating at expensive restaurants is reserved for special occasions. Number 2. You rarely live below your means. People in the middle class tend to live a lifestyle that they can just barely afford. Even if they get a raise and start making more money, they would rather upgrade their lifestyle to match their higher salary. If they had just continued to live below their means, they might have had money for investments, savings, and so much more. However, the pull of flaunting the latest trends and fads by pretending that they have money to burn can be too much to resist. So they continue throwing away hundreds of dollars a month on gourmet coffee at Starbucks, even more money than that on designer clothes, and even more money than that on interest and fees for credit cards. Number 1. You value credentials over income. Last but not least, studies have shown that people in the middle and upper classes value someone's credentials more than the amount of money they make. For example, if you had an HVAC repairman or a plumber making $70,000 per year, they are making enough to be considered middle class. However, most people would think of their occupation as working class or blue collar. On the flip side, a professor with a PhD might struggle to pay their bills, making just $30,000 per year. But they would still be considered middle class because they have a high level degree and academic accomplishments. Well, there you have it, brewers. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out other Dollar Brew videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.